Okay, so video for the new upcoming Shimin Lee Encounter Edition. It is actually quite beautiful. Um, it looks really nice. It sounds really good. If you would like to win a free one, comment below this video. This video's comment section will be used um, to put into the wheel. If I see your little subscriber icon, I move your comment over into the wheel. If I don't see that, then I don't. That's thanking the supporters of my channel. Um, sorry about that, but if you're a subscriber, let's win. Um, and if you're not, enjoy the video. We will give away the Dunu Kima and the Ida at the end of this video. The comment section is taken from a previous video where I announced that as the giveaway item. So we'll be doing giveaway today. Um, but this one will be probably in a week to 10 days. But the comments for that win will be right below this video. So go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Let's turn while I hold this to my left and take a look at the tuning. The tuning is laid over another set just for reference. This is very, very similar to the Penon Serial um, in its sub bass, mid bass, and its mids. The upper mids are just slightly different. There's a tad bit more energy on the Shimin Lee um, Encounter Edition, but the kind of cascading waterfall upper mid to treble uh, sounds great. My library, it's got enough energy for bass guitar drum kits uh male vocals are good it's not in the way of female vocals the energy from 6k and beyond when you check on a spectrogram and you actually listen is not a lot except for mostly upper harmonics and when that is too high it can be fatiguing and overly energetic and when it falls off it can seem like it's slightly dead and lacking in air this is the balance that i like this sounds musical um, it doesn't sound fatiguing and it also sounds accurate so it's a enjoyable to my ear, accurate replay, and I can listen to it for long periods of time. So it's a big winner. If you into the serial or wanted to hear that, this is very similar to that in the tonality. Um, and I'd argue Tex, actually, for $49. So there's that. Turning over to here, this is the Bible. Um, I might throw this up on the screen so you can see this. I listen to all of this with this set right here, so all my opinions are based on these Definitely, in addition to other songs, I'll go ahead and bring out some music so that we can get some reference here. Let me go ahead and turn this up. Starting with the low end, stuff like Pack Like Sardines, Tupac Violent, Kill Jill, uh, Mass Attack Angel. This has good energy. Uh, this is metallic. So for some reason, the density of the metal shells going all the way back to the B-Lon 03 always seem to do well with slam in a way that sometimes the plastics and resins seems to be lacking um that phenomenon plays out with car audio as well um and how we encase the large subwoofers and um but getting back to the earphones the slam and rumble sounds nice it sounds good on those tracks as we move into bass guitar stuff like sultans of swing uh black sabbath sweet leaf which is bass guitar and a drummer and kind of seeing if the separation or if they're kind of masking uh each other out and uh, also, Violent Femmes, Please Do Not Go, which have a, sounds like a slightly loosened four-string bass guitar. Um, this does that well. The snap pulls and releases um, on Sultans of Swing. Also, Please Do Not Go sound uh, lively and energetic. They sound good in the way I would want it. Sultans of Swing sounds like he's pinning down the track. This is the ideal replay of that track, Sultans of Swing. This tuning is how I like it. That's how the pen on played it. This is how this plays it. So starts off quite well as we get into drums um basically john bonham and neil pert the very produced kick drum on the fourth album when the levy breaks uh is substantial it comes through as it's supposed to be at the intro of the song doom 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 that comes through with some force when we get into the harmonica it sounds excellent something that can be very fatiguing, but it's not. I thought that the replay of When the Levy Breaks on this was very, very nice. As we get into vocals, Fleetwood Mac, Chris Cornell, stuff like that, um, I thought it did really good. I like the way that this handles vocals. I am mostly a male vocal listener, just by my library. There are a lot of female vocalists, but males really dominate. Um, and I thought it sounded good, everything that I listened to. Um, so vocals came through good. Flute Mac sounded nice. There's a track, uh, Never Going Back Again, Lindsey Buckingham, that I thought sounded especially excellent, and I listened to it several times just because, not not tripping for this, tripping because I was enjoying the music. thought that sounded really good. If you listen to music like that, um, you'll certainly probably be a fan of this. 
strings, Vivaldi, um, did it well. This would be the only track that was not... I just did a Harmon Killers video recently where it's got that boosted up late, and the energy that that gives strings is like steroidal. It's like a like juiced up, but it's fun. Is it really how, it's, it's fatiguing though. So it's a compromise. It's really an intense, awesome listen to Vivaldi or a string concerto, but it's not gonna last for a long time because I'll end up getting ringing in my ears. This sounds different. It's not quite as energetic, but it does sound more like I'm in the hall with the actual instruments and I could listen to this for a much longer period of time. If there were anything about this set that I would note, it wouldn't be the sub bass and it wouldn't be the mid bass. Let me go back. The mid bass for female vocals doesn't seem to be a problem, but people that like a tight tooth ear zero or a con or a tucked, because you think that that's the only way female vocals come through clean, I disagree, but I can understand your point. J pop, K pop fans in particular, this is putting up a little bit of little bit of meat on female vocals, just a little bit, so be aware of that. And Vivaldi sounds great, more authentic than the Meteor, but the Meteor sounded more fun than this set does. But this is a $49 set, and it's really a, kind of like a um, budget pen-on serial is the way that I would probably do this in my four review. I think it sounds excellent. $49, it's a very good set. Um, so if you want it, comment below. Not this one, you'll get a full retail box. And I'll do a full, probably quick review because I've touched most of the bases now and adjust and update my thoughts for the final video. Um, really nice though, looks beautiful, sounds really nice. This is one of the sets like the Pen on Serial. The Pen on Serial has a Bill Cosby sweater cap. I have no idea what's up with that. It's a triple DD, it's awesome, I really like it a lot. I think I'm really a fan of its tuning. Um, and this would be very similar to that, so this would get the wreck. Uh, if you want it, comment below. Now, before we get out of here, we're going to spin the wheel for the person that commented in the video where I said if you want to do Nukema and Ida. And here we go. Three, two, spin. Now I do this, and this person contacts me. I do never, I never contact you. I don't have Telegram. I don't do anything like that. I never reach out to you. Rinse Jester. Rinse just to you one. Now you need to contact me directly. And then I'm going to pass you to the person that's going to ship it to you. And it's going to go that way. But you start it. I don't reach out to you. I don't have Telegram. I will never reach out to winners. I'm sending and paying for shipping for stuff that they just had to comment to win. I'm not following you. I'm definitely not saying, hey, congrats. You got a prize. Contact me. Don't fall for that stuff. If anybody asks for money, when you win something, that's a huge red flag. Just get out of there. Just get out. Screen cap their PayPal email so that you can report them. Report these people, man. Shut them down. Slam them. I've been playing whack-a-mole for a long time. Anyway, I'm out. <laughs>